Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Engine video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss Unreal Engine light terminology. We understand some terms that we most commonly hear while working with lights in Unreal Engine guys. Direct light and indirect light. From the light source, the light that directly falls on the surface of an object is called direct light. Whereas the resultant light produced after the bounce or reflection of the light is called indirect light. Here I have an image to explain it more clearly. Here we have house, consider it as an object. Here we have sun, consider it as a light source. From the light source, the light that directly falls on the surface of the object is called direct light. And the resultant light that is produced on the bounce of light is called indirect light guys. So remember. From the light source, the light that directly falls on the surface of an object is called direct light and the resultant light produced after the bounce or reflection of the light is called indirect light guys. Sometimes you hear the term GI. GI means global illumination guys. Remember that lights in Unreal Engine can be set to static, stationary or movable. If I go to Unreal Engine, I go to place actors, drag and drop a point light. If I go to details panel, you can see we have mobility property. We can change the mobility of the point light to static, stationary or movable. I go back to place actors, drag and wrap a spotlight. If I go to details panel, you can see we can set the mobility to static, stationary or movable. That's what I'm speaking here. Lights in Unreal Engine can be set to static, stationary or movable guys. Let's understand the difference. Static light, a light which never move and its properties are not intended to modify at runtime. Static light, a light which never move and its properties are not intended to modify while playing the game guys. For example, here I have a street light. Consider we never move the street light and we never modify the properties of this street light at runtime. Then we set its mobility to static guys. While playing the game, we never move this street light and we never change the properties of the street light like we do not modify the color, we do not modify the intensity or any property while playing the game. Then we set its mobility to static. We tell to Unreal Engine it's a static light. Static light means it never moves and we never change the properties while playing the game. Here we have the bulb, okay? Consider we never move this bulb and we never modify its properties while playing the game. We never change the color, we never change the intensity, any property. Then we set its mobility property to static. Static means never moves and never modify the properties at runtime, guys. And static lights considered as inexpensive lights. They take very less render time. Next we have stationary light. Stationary light, a light which never moves. Stationary light is like static light. It never moves, but its properties are intended to modify at runtime. Static light, a light which never moves and its properties are not intended to modify at runtime. Stationary light, a light which never moves, but its properties are intended to modify at runtime. For example, here we have the sun. Okay. Consider we never move the sun but we we rotate the sun so that we can change the daytime while playing the game maybe we are interested in changing the intensity of the light maybe we are interested in changing the color at runtime then we set its mobility to stationary stationary means a light which never move but its properties are intended to modify at runtime base okay Stationary lights considered as less expensive lights. Next we have movable light. Movable light, a light which can move as well as its properties are intended to modify at runtime. Movable light, a light which moves as well as its properties are intended to modify at runtime. For example, here I have a vehicle, okay? And of course vehicles will be having headlight. When the vehicle moves, of course, the headlight also moves. So, the light which moves at runtime as well as its properties are intended to modify at runtime. Maybe changing the color or what happens uh, is 
for dynamic lights or for movable lights while playing the game on every frame we have to calculate or the system has to calculate the lighting effect as well as the shadow effect so it is also very expensive light okay movable lights considered as very expensive because while playing the game they move that the light moves as well as uh, on every frame the lighting effect as well as the shadow effects need to be calculated so very expensive it takes more time to run render guys if, if you see here if i select the spotlight and go here unreal engine itself is telling static light a light can't be changed in the game it is fully baked light fastest rendering stationary light stationary light can't move allows partially baked lighting dynamic shadows from movable objects movable light movable lights can be moved and changed in game totally dynamic right movable lights are totally dynamic and slowest rendering see movable lights slowest rendering static light fastest rendering static lights are fully baked light movable lights are dynamic lights understanding so you have to understand this while designing levels use as less as possible movable lights and use more static lights okay you can have as many static lights and dynamic lights as you want but remember movable lights are more expensive very expensive lights they take more render time static lights are inexpensive lights we consider them inexpensive lights so use more static lights and remember you can only have four stationary lights overlapping okay you can have more stationary lights but overlapping stationary lights four guys let me explain let me delete this delete this spotlight here we have the the point light okay i am going to duplicate it i say so control d one more light i got control d one more light i got control d one more light here four lights are actually overlapping okay they are overlapping guys you can see they are overlapping if i have one more stationary light overlapping here control d one of the light becomes disabled you can see it got disabled icon so you can have you can have only four stationary lights overlapping guys remember that that's it guys for this video tutorial i hope you guys have clearly understood the difference between direct light and indirect light and difference between static light stationary light and movable light if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep gaming keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much See you in the next tutorial.